Okay, hey, welcome back, uh, Red Wing fans. As you can see, these are nothing new. I've already reviewed these. These are the Red Wing 879 8-inch Mule Skinner, Hawthorne Mule Skinner with uh, uh, traction tread sole. Seem to be pretty popular. I can't seem to find too many of these. They um, Apparently, they only made like 166 pairs. And that's in all sizes, I believe. So it's like a total of 166. And if you divide it up among maybe eight, eight or nine different sizes, maybe two sizes per, two, two pairs per size, I don't know, that's not very many of these boots around. I was lucky enough to get these from, uh, from Germany on eBay. And uh, I've had them for a while. They're very, very super comfortable. The leather is just unbelievable. I mean, yeah, Red Wing really figured it out when they um, came up with this Hawthorne Mule Skinner leather. It just looks cool, and it's super comfortable. It's fairly durable. You know, yeah, it gets water spots and stains, but you know, I don't worry too much about that. As you can see, I haven't even brushed these down yet. I just kept them as is, and they were in pretty good condition when I got them. So. Uh, why am I doing this video? Well, I thought I would show you what uh, camel laces look like. And I told, I think, the other video I said something about how when I got these from Walmart, they were 50 feet for $5, so that's a dollar for 10 feet, which is pretty cheap. And um, let me see. So if you're trying to get, uh, so let's see, 10 feet, um, I don't even know what that is in inches. <laughs> I guess it'd be like, I don't know, divided by 10, so t yeah. Anyway, you can do the math and figure out what size you need, but um, I think I can get about three or four pairs of laces out of this. And um, so uh, what was cool is that uh, before you do it, you may want to measure out, I guess, the right length and take into account that um, it might need to be a little bit longer because these are thicker, and so they take up more room and more volume and more length. And so if you use the original Taslin laces to measure it you might want to go just a little bit longer maybe an inch or two but that's up to you and um, it just depends on each boot I guess and each person's foot and how wide the laces are apart but uh, what's cool about these is the again what I did was um, I talked about this in my other video is that I I did take the um, I did take a needle and thread and I sewed it through where the eyelid that where the aglet would have been I don't know if you can see it, and I also melted the end of it. But I also took the, and then I wrapped it around the outside, and I so I, I I passed it through the lace a couple times just to keep it from the core from moving around. But these are uh, camel laces with uh, mule skin leather, and I don't know, maybe the light's a little too bright, but I think it looks pretty cool because there's a little bit of a tan in there, and there's some green, and a little bit of white, and it's just yeah, it seems to really, I like kind of subtle, so this is not really too. Um, too wild of a color. I've seen some like people wearing red and blue and green and whatever, which is cool. You know, that's their that's their gig. But um, I like these because these look pretty subtle, but they're a little bit of a pop. You know, just a little bit different from having the original Taslin. Or I guess these really came with um, kind of like a uh, maroon colored uh, leather laces, which I'm not too thrilled with leather laces because they seem to stretch and break and they just don't slide through the uh, the eyelets very very smoothly. So, if you like to get some uh, camel laces, you may want to grab them from Walmart. That seems to be the cheapest ones I've seen. And I don't know if they limit them. That sometimes you don't always have that in stock. And I think maybe you can look online. I'm not sure. But I always check. And uh, before, I think I talked about this in the last video with uh, the Huntsman, is I did get a pair of, um, they were just green and kind of gray camo way back and I didn't know better back then I just thought oh, I'll get them you know they, they look pretty cool and now I can't even find them anymore so but I use those in my 8180 Kanga Tan uh, uh, mock toes and so I put those in there and so yeah that's about it so hope you like it and I just thought I'd show you something a little bit different I think it looks pretty cool so have a good day